Hello there, let's start creating our first portfolio into BNs.net. So what is this? Actually, this is some plan from, from Agile V, from a creative cloud that is going to be helping us to share all our projects so people can see like our portfolio of what we do for a living. And hopefully we can get hired for, uh, let's say, really huge companies like, uh, I don't know, maybe Coca-Cola or maybe some the um, the actual genre or the actual niche that you are uh, actually into. So first of all, guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description. If you if you actually don't have an account, if you want to create this real quick. And once you have created your account, in my case, I do want to log in. So after you create your account, you can either choose to create that using a Google account, a Facebook account, or a Apple account. So what I'm going to be doing here is to sign with my Google account, and then I need to choose my account, and I just need to grant the access. So now what's going to happen here is that I'm going to be able to see the uh, welcome to be and what you want to do is to click a few topics you like. Let's say that I I am really into the graphic design or go into the sound or go into the game design or the product design. And then I want to see my custom feed. This is not uh, our custom pro uh, profile portfolio. So you don't want to focus in here. This is like just uh, like a discovery a work in progress that we can see like if I want to look for some collaborators and stuff like that here I can find a lot of people so if I want to create my first portfolio uh, I don't want to let's say copy someone else what I do want is to find inspiration so what I'm gonna be doing here is to get into this cover or let's say that you we are trying let, let, let's do something like if we're going to be trying to go into hire so here into hire you want to choose the profile that you want to create so here into the availability i'm going to choose into all or choose let's say freelancer if you want to be a freelancer you want to choose freelancer and here into the creative fields let's say that i want to look for someone that is into the fields of music. So I'm going to choose music. I use the location and here into location. Let's say that I want to choose the local area where I am currently at. So let's say, for example, we're going to choose Mexico. And here at the city, if you want to choose a city, you are um, like you to go. In my case, I don't want to choose a city. And here into tools, let's say that um, since this is only for um, not it doesn't mean that we need to look for Photoshop and Illustrator. In my case, it's it's not that important. Even the school, I think it's uh, perfectly fine. So here, let's say, for example, I just want to focus into one that has a sort by recommended or most followed. And I want to choose the first um, options. For example, let's choose into this lady. So this lady, what I want to do is to see what she does and what kind of creativeness she has into the portfolio. So as you can see, the um, the background has only a text, which I think it looks really, really great. It has like a lot of creativity and it tells a lot about of the freelancer. Here we can see the work. So here we can see, all right, so, okay. So it's gonna look great. We do have the work experience on the web the followers, the hire me, the follow the message, where is she from? So once I do have some kind of inspiration of this lady, I want to go in to show your work. So here to show your work, what I do want to import are all my elements of my portfolio in order to, let's say, create some um, great expectation about my, my work. Right, so if you have like nothing to show yet, I mean it's gonna be really really hard. But uh, speaking speaking about how to edit your stuff and all that, I do recommend Canva because I do a lot of stuff here into Canva. So for example, here I can do a lot of uh, subheadings and I can do um, presentations and all that, so I can import that into my Behance and choose. For example, let's say I want to choose this image that I just created. So once I choose this image, I can add some tags like, for example, artwork. And here, custom 
or maybe I can choose music artwork music artwork and I do have a lot of projects in here right music artwork mixtape designed um, and let's see for example I'm going to choose artwork this and this is important to choose tags of your projects because when someone goes into the hire and they want to look for someone that can help them for example to create some artwork designs our design is going to be appearing into the search bar of these uh, tags so the more specific you are into your tags the better right so here I want to let's say to click in here and choose text so here into text let's say my own artworks my own artwork designs designs for singles and albums EP something like that so here you can start to customize your own stuff uh, hit into enter if you want to add a link which I think it's really really great you can choose that option and you can paste an inbound code um, in my case I think it's gonna be looking great I mean this is just an example for you guys go into styles the background color I think it's gonna be looking much better for me if it's like black or choose this option and hit into OK and the content spacing so now that we have something like this um, I think I can go into continue and here's going to be asking for a project title a project tag once again choose uh, try to be as much as specific as you can so I want to hit into first of all I want to hit into artwork music artwork or artwork design uh, I think I just misspelled this so I need to, to write this again artwork designed and let's say custom artwork something like that illustration when you want to use I mean this are suggested tags but I can um, double suggest you to not use this text unless you are really fitable into this text because these are too general so you don't want to mess into some general uh, text you want to use a specific text so you can have more chances to get uh, viewed into your own niche niche right so tools used for example let's say I use Photoshop so I need to use this option and how would you categorize this project let's say graphic to design visibility I do want to choose everyone and lastly what I just need to do is to go back into my account and here into Behance profile to see how this my profile my portfolio is looking so as you can see I just need to edit my availability claimed a profile URL and add a profile photo in order to start having like uh, really really great stuff here into Behance so as you can see we are just starting to create things it's gonna be looking great so far so I'm gonna hit into not now because this is something different but now we can start here customizing NFTs live stream mood balls appreciation there's a lot of stuff to do in here so um, I'm gonna leave you guys so you can create your own Behance portfolio I think you have really really a lot of stuff to do so hopefully it was a very useful video for you don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about these Adobe applications like Behance. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.